Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to be checking out the Verizon 5G ultra-wideband quote-unquote tower. So, as you can see here we have the power meter which is showing in kilowatt hours and then in this box this is going to be the power circuit for Verizon. And as you can see, I'm not sure, they're running it underground for Ethernet. Uh, I'm not sure what their version would be for the 5G network, the Ethernet to some off-site location or something. Uh, I did get a couple drone videos up there, um, they're using Nokia uh, antennas. And you can see they have a notice posted somewhere, I don't know, I'll show it on screen. About now, timestamp 49 seconds, just so I remember. Okay. So the antennas are technically pointing that way towards the rest of the towers, which are where? I don't know. Okay. So running a speed test, just holding it up. 300 megabits, 400 megabits, 500. Okay, trying the test again after a restart should do the trick. Yep, and as you can see, 1600 megabits, 1800 megabits, 1900, 20, 2000, almost 2100. The higher we reach up, the more we're gonna get. Okay, 2082, and then upload, the upload speed varies with the 5G ultra-wide antennas. Uh, usually, depending on where you're at and how close you are, you're gonna get anywhere from about 180 to uh, 250 with these ones in Delaware. But here is our final speed test results. I'll pull them up on screen right about now. So 2,082 megabits up, up at download, which uh, is two gigabits, and then 104 megabits upload. So not bad at all, since they're being placed all around here. I'm sure that's pretty costly. Okay, just to include this, the 5G ultra-wide band is right there. And doing a speed test, antenna is right there while holding it out over the edge with no case on. Upload speed is usually higher here. It's about 2200. Okay, yep, and you see our upload speed is way higher, averaging at about 250 megabits. Uh, it does depend where you are, because if you're right below it, you're probably going to get better download speed because you're right below it, because those antennas are actually broadcasting outwards, not downwards. So being closer to it is not going to help your speed that much. That is a myth. Okay, see you guys. See you in the next one. Stay tuned for more 5G.